In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about how you can get more views on your YouTube videos by improving your click-through rate and specifically how you can find those opportunities to improve click-through rate using the CTR tool or CTR opportunity tool, I should say, from TubeBuddy. So let's jump straight into TubeBuddy and we'll have a look at how to do this. So I'm in my YouTube studio. I'm gonna come up to the top here, uh, click on the little TubeBuddy icon. Uh, and this is actually something that is in this click magnet tool. So uh, I've just come to the top heading here click on this uh, tube buddy tool and it brings up this uh, selection here and it's this specific one here click through uh, or click magnet I should say so we're going to launch the click magnet there's actually four different tools in here uh, but we'll click on get started it's going to do a little bit of searching and load up a little bit of information for you uh, and as I say, this is four tools in one, really, but I'm going to just focus on one specific tool within here. Uh, so what we're looking for is this one, this CTR opportunities. And it says, get the most bang for your buck when focusing on improving these videos. So it is looking for videos, essentially, if I click on this, these are videos where I've basically got good engagement on the videos once people get there. However, not many people are getting there because the click-through rate is, uh, is low. So as I come down this list, what you'll notice is uh, we've got the opportunity here. So it's saying very high. Uh, and the reason why it's very high is because uh, it's getting good engagement. This is one about my YouTube studio build with acoustic panels. <laughs> the title's not really that catchy there. I probably need to work on that. That's probably one of the reasons. Uh, but you'll notice here that the uh, the green performance is the performance of the video, but the click-through rate, CTR, is the, uh, is the one that is quite low here. So I've got a 2.2% click-through rate, 2.24% click-through rate uh, but the performance is uh, is good once people actually get onto it uh, as you come down you can see here 1.63 2.33 2.25 so they're all pretty low in terms of click-through rate certainly compared to other videos on my channel one there very low 0 0.98 that is a very low click-through rate uh, for what is uh, usual for my channel certainly so it is all relative by the way just do bear that in mind uh, this is all going to be looking at relative to my channel there may be some people who you know even my high figures might look bad and vice versa so it is all relative to your channel uh, so here, what we what we can do though is uh, now that we can see these uh, these different opportunities, we can perhaps go and do a little bit more analysis. So uh, whilst this says that these are performing well, uh, you may just want to go and have a look at like overall the amount of time that you're investing in doing all of this stuff and the sort of long term sort of payoff of uh, in terms of that. So there's some videos on my channel which are by default you know going to be out of date at a certain point in terms of uh, you know I, t I cover a lot about beta software so the ecamm live betas and things like that uh, at some point those features all become part of the you know the latest release and things like that so they're very sort of time sensitive so this one i would say you know the click-through rate on this one is quite low uh, but that's because it's about a particular beta release that was out you know four or five months ago before the uh, the latest new release of the software was out so that one I would just sort of bear that in mind uh, whereas these ones you know using short shortcuts app with photos on Mac um, you know that is actually really one of some of my latest content and is technically up to date as well you know so I, it, that is one that I definitely would want to focus on in terms of trying to improve that uh, that click-through rate of uh, people actually getting onto the content. Uh, one thing about click-through rates is, you know, it's very easy to look at these and think, you know, oh, 1.6 compared to 2 or 3 or something like that is not a massive difference. It's only like a percent difference or something like that. So people think in their minds that it's, you know, a small percentage. But actually, it's, you've got to look at the relative improvement. So going from a 1% click-through rate to a 2% or going from a 4% to an 8%, uh, those are, you know, both 100% increases. Uh, so it's all sort of relative to what the starting point is. So just bear that in mind when you're looking at these click-through rates and the uh, the possibility for improvement. Uh, but this now then gives basically a, uh, a long list of uh, of all the, the potential videos uh, that you may want to go and improve upon. Now, when it comes to actually improve upon uh, improving upon these videos, then what we need to do is we need to look at basically doing some real analysis on this, not just sort of changing up things, uh, you know, ad hoc <laughs> without really giving it any thought. We want to really then go and drill down and start doing some form of split testing. And so I'll be talking about split testing in the next video that's coming up and showing exactly how you can do that on thumbnails, titles and descriptions.